Hi, and thanks for watching the DIY Daddy channel. My name is Don. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you something, um, uh, just a couple of things that can really help uh, prolong the life of your gas powered tools. Um, it's, it's December here in Maine, so there's already snow on the ground, um, and it's time to winterize our tools. So, things from leaf blowers to chainsaws, weed whackers, uh, lawnmowers, uh, you can really extend the life of them by doing just one most important thing and that's uh, working on the gas. So if you have a lawnmower, um, I highly recommend adding some stabilizer to the fuel because if you don't, it can um, gum up and like leave a layer of varnish inside things, which you know, come spring, it, it has several months to degrade and can just make everything sticky and, and not work well. So the best thing to do with lawnmowers, I typically suggest just adding stabilizer, but to smaller engines, um, I recommend draining the fuel out and then adding some stabilizer to that canister that you've dumped all that fuel in. Now make sure that you're sorting your tools out. Um, if you have uh, gas powered items that run on a mix of gas and oil, use the same can for that and don't add it to cans with just gas. Alright, so I'm going to start off by taking the fuel cap off here and we're just going to dump it straight into the bucket. Now that all the fuel is drained out of the tank, what you want to do is close up your gas can. First and foremost. All right, and now you want to push your primer bulb a few times, and then start the tool up to burn off any excess gas that might be in there in the carburetor, etc. All right, so I think all the gas that's in there is burnt out. All right. Sometimes if there's enough gas in there, it might run for a little while. Usually does. This one didn't for some reason, but that's fine. All right. So that's th those are the most important things to do to um, make your your gas powered tools last a lot longer. Is get that fuel out of them or treated before winter starts. The next thing that you want to do is spark plugs. Now. All these tools are going to have a spark plug. They might be in different locations, but you know the process is still the same. You want to take the spark plug off. So we are taking the spark plug out. Now this would be the best time to change it or inspect it to make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. This one looks a little dark so I might just clean it up with a wire brush. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to get some small engine oil, um, which most, most tools when you buy them they come with it. You can find it pretty much anywhere. You want to get just a couple of drops, and I do mean drops, right, right into that hole where the spark plug was. And that's it, just a couple of drops. All right, and pull the cord a few times. What that's going to do is it's going to lubricate those pistons and keep everything in there well oiled for the winter. Because there's no spark plug, there's no chance of it starting up, so you're fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off this spark plug, and I'm just going to put it right back in. All right, that's nice and tight. Put that back on. Now the only other thing that that I would recommend with these tools is checking your air filters. Um, this is the time of year to clean and replace them. So this one, you know, right here, it doesn't look that bad. It's 
So it's getting a little dirty, but not that bad. So this one, I, I would use another season, maybe take an air compressor and you know, blast some air through it. But that's about it. So put that back on. All right, so those are the three most important things that you can do for your tools to make them last a lot longer. Uh, winterizing them by treating and removing the fuel, uh, cleaning the spark plug and putting a little bit of oil in there and you know, lubricating those pistons, and then checking or changing the air filter if needed. And you can also check the fuel lines, see if they're starting to dry rot or anything. Um, you can consult your owner's manual to see where those are in your specific tool, but the process is the same for all these things. And if you're working on a lawnmower, this would also be a good time to remove the blade, sharpen it, uh, make sure you disconnect the spark plug before you do that. Um, I've got a, another video on how to do that, so um, you can just check out the channel. And I do believe that's it. So if you have any other questions, make sure you put them in the comments section. Make sure you, you like and subscribe, share, and hit that bell so you get notifications whenever I have a new video. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.